Hey everybody, welcome back to the Words of Life Daily Bible Reading. Today is day 322. We're going to continue our reading in the book of 1 Chronicles with chapters 22, 23, and 24, followed by Luke chapter 3. Let's dive right in. The book of 1 Chronicles chapter 22. Then David said, Here shall be the house of the Lord God, and here the altar of burnt offering for Israel, David commanded to gather together the res resident aliens who were in the land of Israel, and he set stone cutters to prepare dressed stones for building the house of God. David also provided great quantities of iron for nails for the doors of the gates and for clamps, as well as bronze in quantities beyond weighing, and cedar timbers without number, for the Sidonians and the Tyrians brought great quantities of cedar to David. For David said, Solomon my son is young and inexperienced, and the house that is to be built for the Lord must be exceedingly magnificent, of fame and glory throughout all lands. I will therefore make preparation for it. So David provided materials in great quantity before his death. Then he called for Solomon his son and charged him to build a house for the Lord, the God of Israel. David said to Solomon, My son, I had it in my heart to build a house to the name of the Lord my God, but the word of the Lord came to me, saying, You have shed much blood and have waged great wars. You shall not build a house to my name, because you have shed so much blood before me on the earth. Behold, a son shall be born to you, who shall be a man of rest. I will give him rest from all his surrounding enemies, for his name shall be Solomon, and I will give peace and quiet to Israel in his days. He shall build a house for my name, he shall be my son, and I will be his father, and I will establish his royal throne in Israel forever. Now, my son, the Lord be with you, so that you may succeed in building the house of the Lord your God, as he has spoken concerning you. Only may the Lord grant you discretion and understanding, that when he gives you charge over Israel, you may keep the law of the Lord your God. Then you will prosper if you are careful to observe the statutes and the rules that the Lord commanded Moses for Israel. Be strong and courageous. Fear not. Do not be dismayed. With great pains I have provided for the house of the Lord one hundred thousand talents of gold, a million talents of silver, and bronze and iron beyond weighing. For there is so much of it, timber and stone too, I have provided. To these you must add... You have an abundance of workmen, stone cutters, masons, carpenters, and all kinds of craftsmen without number, skilled in working gold, silver, bronze, and iron. Arise and work, the Lord be with you. David also commanded all the leaders of Israel to help Solomon his son, saying, Is not the Lord your God with you? And has he not given you peace on every side? For he has delivered the inhabitants of the land into my hand, and the land is subdued before the Lord and his people. Now set your mind and heart to seek the Lord your God. Arise and build the sanctuary of the Lord God, so that the ark of the covenant of the Lord and the holy vessels of God may be brought into a house built for the name of the Lord. First Chronicles chapter 23 When David was old and full of days, he made Solomon his son king over Israel. David assembled all the leaders of Israel and the priests and the Levites, the Levites, thirty years old and upward, were numbered, and the total was thirty-eight thousand men. Twenty-four thousand of these, David said, shall have charge of the work in the house of the Lord. Six thousand shall be officers and judges. Four thousand gatekeepers, and four thousand shall offer praises to the Lord with the instruments that I have made for praise. And David organized them in divisions corresponding to the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari, the sons of Gershon were Laden and Shimei, the sons of Laden, Jehiel the chief, and Zetham and Joel three. The sons of Shimei, Shelemoth, Haziel, and Haran, three. These were the heads of the fathers' houses of Laden. And the sons of Shimei, Jahath, Zena, and Jeush, and Bariah, these four were the sons of Shimei. Jahath was the chief, and Zizah the second, but Jeush and Bariah did not have many sons, therefore they became counted as a single father's house. The sons of Kohath, Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel, four. The sons of Amram, Aaron, and Moses, 
Aaron was set apart to dedicate the most holy things that he and his sons forever should make offerings before the Lord and minister to him and pronounce blessings in his name forever. But the sons of Moses, the man of God, were named among the tribe of Levi. The sons of Moses, Gershom and Eliezer. The sons of Gershom, Shebuel the chief. The sons of Eliezer, Rehabiah the chief. Eliezer had no other sons, but the sons of Rehabiah were very many, the sons of Izhar, Shelomith the chief, the sons of Hebron, Jeriah the chief, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, and Jechamim the fourth, the sons of Uziel, Micah the chief, and Ishiah the second, the sons of Merari, Mali, and Mushi, the sons of Mali, Eleazar, and Kish. Eleazar died having no sons, but only daughters. Their kinsmen, the sons of Kish, married them. The sons of Mushi, Mali, Eder, and Jeremoth, three. These were the sons of Levi by their father's houses, the heads of father's houses, as they were listed according to the number of the names of the individuals from twenty years old and upward who were able to do the work for the service of the house of the Lord. For David said, The Lord, the God of Israel, has given rest to his people, and he dwells in Jerusalem forever. And so the Levites no longer need to carry the tabernacle or any of the things for its service. For by the last words of David, the sons of Levi were numbered from twenty years old and upward. For their duty was to assist the sons of Aaron for the service of the house of the Lord, having the care of the courts and the chambers, the cleansing of all that is holy, and any work for the service of the house of God. Their duty was also to assist with the showbread, the flour for the grain offering, the wafers of unleavened bread, the baked offering, the offering mixed with oil, and all measures of quantity or size. And they were to stand every morning, thanking and praising the Lord, and likewise at evening. And whenever burnt offerings were offered to the Lord on Sabbaths, new moons, and feast days, according to the number required of them, regularly before the Lord, thus they were to keep charge of the tent of meeting and the sanctuary, and to attend the sons of Aaron, their brothers, for the service of the house of the Lord. First Chronicles chapter 24 The divisions of the sons of Aaron were these. The sons of Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father and had no children. So Eleazar and Ithamar became the priests. With the help of Zadok, the sons of Eleazar, and Ahimelech, the sons of Ithamar, David organized them according to the appointed duties in their service. Since more chief men were found among the sons of Eleazar than among the sons of Ithamar, they organized them under sixteen heads of fathers' houses of the sons of Eleazar, and eight of the sons of Ithamar. They divided them by lot, all alike, for there were sacred officers and officers of God among both the sons of Eleazar and the sons of Ithamar. And the scribe Shimeiah, the son of Nethanel, a Levite, recorded them in the presence of the king and the princes and Zadok the priest and Ahimelech the son of Abiathar and the heads of the fathers' houses of the priests and of the Levites, one father's house being chosen for Eleazar and one chosen for Ithamar. The first lot fell to Jehoiarib, the second to Jediah, the third to Harim, the fourth to Seorim, the fifth to Malchijah, the sixth to Majamin, the seventh to Hakaz, the eighth to Abijah, the ninth to Jeshua, the tenth to Shechaniah, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Jakim, the thirteenth to Hupa, the fourteenth to Jeshebiab, the fifteenth to Bilga, the sixteenth to Immer, the seventeenth to Hazir, the eighteenth to Hapazes, the nineteenth to Pethaliah, the twentieth to Jehezkel, the twenty-first to Jakin, the twenty-second to Gamul, the twenty-third to Deliah, the twenty-fourth to Meaziah. These had as their appointed duty in their service to come into the house of the Lord according to the procedure established for them by Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. And the rest of the sons of Levi, of the sons of Amram, Shubael, of the sons of Shubael, Jedeah, of Rehabiah, of the sons of Rehabiah, Ishiah the chief, of the Isharites, Shelemoth, of the sons of Shelemoth, Jahath, the sons of Hebron, 
Jeriah the chief, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, Jechamiam the fourth, the sons of Uziel, Micah, of the sons of Micah, Shamir, the brothers of Micah, Ishiah, of the sons of Ishiah, Zechariah, the sons of Merari, Mali and Mushi, the sons of Jeaziah, Benno, the sons of Merari, of Jeaziah, Benno, Shoham, Zakur, and Ibri, of Mali, Eleazar, who had no sons, of Kish, the sons of Kish, Jeramael, the sons of Mushi, Mali, Eder, Jeremoth, these were the sons of the Levites according to their fathers' houses. These also, the head of each father's house and his younger brother alike, cast lots, just as their brothers, the sons of Aaron, in the presence of King David, Zadok, Ahimelech, and the heads of the fathers' houses of the priests and of the Levites. The Book of Luke, Chapter 3 in the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate became governor of Judea, and Herod, being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region of Iturea and Trachonitis, and Lysanias, tetrarch of Abilene. During the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. And he went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall become straight, and the rough places shall become level ways, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. He said therefore to the crowds that came out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits in keeping with repentance, and do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children for Abraham. Even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Every tree therefore that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And the crowds asked him, What then shall we do? And he answered them, Whoever has two tunics is to share with him who has none, and whoever has food is to do likewise. Tax collectors also come to be baptized and said to him, Teacher, what shall we do? And he said to them, Collect no more than you are authorized to do. Soldiers also asked him, and we, what shall we do? And he said to them, Do not extort money from any one by threats or by false accusation, and be content with your wages. As the people were in expectation, and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Christ, John answered them all, saying, I baptize you with water, but he who is mightier than I is coming, the strap of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear the threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. So with many other exhortations he preached good news to the people. But Herod the Tetrarch, who had been reproved by him for Herodias, his brother's wife, and for all the evil things that Herod had done, added this to them all, that he locked up John in prison. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heavens were opened, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form, like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. Jesus, when he began his ministry, was about thirty years of age, being the son, as was supposed, of Joseph, the son of Heli, the son of Mathat, the son of Levi, the son of Melchi, the son of Janai, the son of Joseph, the son of Mattathias, the son of Amos, the son of Nahum, the son of Esli, the son of Nagai, the son of Maath, the son of Mattathias, the son of Semain, the son of Josek, the son of Jodah, the son of Joanan, the son of Risa, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, the son of Neri, 
the son of Melki, the son of Adi, the son of Kosam, the son of El Madam, the son of Ur, the son of Joshua, the son of Eliezer, the son of Jorim, the son of Mathat, the son of Levi, the son of Simeon, the son of Judah, the son of Joseph, the son of Jonam, the son of Eliakim, the son of Malea, the son of Mena, the son of Metatha, the son of Nathan, the son of David, the son of Jesse, the son of Obed, the son of Boaz, the son of Salah, the son of Nashon, the son of Aminadab, the son of Admin, the son of Arni, the son of Hezron, the son of Perez, the son of Judah, the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, the son of Terah, the son of Nahor, the son of Sarug, the son of Reu, the son of Peleg, the son of Eber, the son of Shelah, the son of Canaan, the son of Arphaxad, the son of Shem, the son of Noah, the son of Lamech, the son of Methuselah, the son of Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Mahaliel, the son of Canaan, the son of Enos, son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. All right, that wraps up the reading for today, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in with me and reading along in God's Word. May He bless you today, and we'll see you tomorrow.